guys welcome for another video this time it's gonna be short tutorial how I it's not gonna be tutorial it's gonna be how I edit my oro film photos so let me jump in Photoshop okay first uh, as you can see here I already edit these images um, I'm not sure if it has to be color film. I think it has to be color film because of this one. Uh, when you know how old is the film, uh, it's actually pretty good colors. But after I finish editing the first images, I decide to go black and white. So uh, yeah, let me show you the process. Okay, so the first method is very simple. We open the curves and from there from there you choose auto but before you choose auto you have to set up the auto options to be this one and chance per channel contrast because you want the auto curve to set input and output value for the for every single channel not for the contrast, you want red one, green one and blue one, you want these values, you want the minimum and the maximum value of the channel, of the color channel, that's gonna give you pretty close color representation, but it's not gonna be perfect, so boom, you're doing this, after that you just drop in your black and white panel and you are done. This works really well if you scan the image and uh, don't convert it in the scanner software. You can edit later in Photoshop or you can edit if you scan with your DSLR or whatever camera. You just taking picture of your negative, importing in Photoshop and boom, you have it ready. But it's uh, not so good and uh, you know, it's automatic. The computer can't read your mind. It doesn't know what you want to see on the screen. So let me group this one and I will turn it off and let me show you another more precise method Set. I try to eliminate the red tint accomplish this you open the selective color panel and we're on the red channel because we want to eliminate the red tint sorry uh, so we'll remove blacks this will make the image brighter we we'll add a bit yellow and the opposite of the tin of the sign is red we want sign so 100 percent and we are going back i am looking after this retro sepia look <laughs> let's add some brightness okay and some contrast nice in it so easy it look very nice retro style kinda image you know these um, your grandmother's photos probably looks like this because they dissolved uh, let add some levels in it some more brightness I will stop there another way to do black and white images you probably know in photoshop is to add gradient map when you're converting black and white like this you are adding a bit more contrast to the image so let me click on it Whoop. and it's nice isn't it a bit more play with the curves okay i like i like it like this now it's completely black and white image but if you click auto option it's gonna adjust the brightness and it will very very nice but it's a bit too much so I will do the opacity to 60% that's it that is the image how I wanna be oh, okay let me group this one and let me show you the first one and the second one. I hope that you learned something from me and see you next time.